Hey, what's up, guys? It's me here again. How to take back with another video, guys? Here, so in this video, what I'm going to show you guys is how to install the Samsung Galaxy Grand Pro I mean, Samsung Galaxy J5 ROM ported for the Galaxy Grand Prime. So, it should be working on the SMG 530H model, including the XEU and the XXU. So, my variant is currently the XEU variant. So, let me show you here. About phone and here as you can see my baseband version if I can focus my focus my camera here and it's I'm running the XCU version of the of my Galaxy Grand Prime so let's get started first of all what I'll need to do is go ahead and download the file I'm gonna give it a link in the description the first file which should take you to the Google Drive website from there you can download the ROM itself the second link I'm gonna give a link in description so for, for before that let me show you the ROM itself how it looks like sorry can show I can't show you the website right now because I have some I, I'm having some problem with my internet connection but that's not it here is the ROM itself you should see the color like this final ROM J5 for G530H by Rob Nash. So, but anyway, once you do that, go to the second file. I'm gonna give it a link in the description, which should take you to the Dropbox here. From there, you can download the J5 ROM. Wait a second, here and from there, you can download this this file here the J5 ROM G530 H XCU all fixes that means with this raw file you can fix the all problems they have like the Wi-Fi issue the camera issue and others other types like the GPS but anyway the third file I'm gonna give it a link in the description which you have to put the um, put those file in the in the in your computer itself or the PC so let me show you guys which should you're gonna which you, when extracted it should um extract with these files the modem.bin the non dash hlos and the odin file you need to flash those two files using the odin so without further ado let's get started the flashing process first of all let's do the do the, the things on the device itself first of all power the device off but before that what I need to do is go to the settings about device from there go ahead and tap build number a few times wait a second two one zero and you should see it like this you are you have enabled the developer settings from now here what you need to do is go to the developer option and here what I need to do is enable the USB debugging or the Android debugging click OK and you're good to go now just turn, shut, shut down the phone now once it shut down it go ahead and boot your device into the recovery in the new recovery, you're going to have to boot your device into the TWRP recovery by pressing the power button, volume up button, and the home button at the same time, which will take you to the recovery itself. From there, from there, you can go ahead and install the ROM. But before everything, I highly recommend you back up your current system here by pressing on the backup and select every single thing. I highly recommend that. So if you mess up your device or do something like completely and your device completely broke up, you can always just restore your restore your device back here on the recovery, and you can now go ahead and if you messed up, you can it, everything can be fixed and like it will be the before how the Android was before. But anyway, on here, back up your file. Once you do that, what you need to do is go to wipe and go on here, go to the advanced wipe. From here, select Dalvi cache, system, cache, and the data. Let me show you guys. Dalvi system, cache, and data. From here, slide this guy in. And your and this for this four four file system should be formatted. Next, what you'll need to do is go ahead and tap on the install from there locate where you put your ROM in as you can see the final ROM G5 let me show you here let's go in tap on here 
and now what we'll need to do is slide and install and it should install the ROM itself give it a few moment should take somewhere like 30 seconds to like one minute So as you can see, it's almost done. It's almost done. Now what you'll need to do is go ahead, and I forgot to mention that, go to the another link. I'm going to give it a link in the description, which should take you to the Open Gaps website. And from there, you need, to, um, you must need to download the Google Apps in order to get the Google uh, Google stuff here, like the Play Store, and the Google services, like those type, type of stuff. Go to the Open Gaps and install it. You can install the any edition here, like there's many editions here, for example, the Pico, Mini, Nano, the Full, and the Aroma. Uh, I'm currently running the Pico because it's, it's close, like, it, it has some minimalist app, the Google apps. But anyway, you can take, you can take any, the, any, state, any state you want. I'm currently running the Pico. So once it's done, what you'll need to do is go back and on the reboot section, power of the device. Don't reboot it. Do not um if you, if you if you put if you get some screen like this, install Super SU. Just click on Don't install. And once it's done, what you'll need to do is pop up the back, but not right now. Not not right now. Now, first of all, what you'll need to do is on your PC. As I say, download those files. From there, what you need to do is let me focus the screen. Come on, whatever it is going go here on the old location. You can see there. You need to go ahead and right click up. Sorry if I if it does if it's not focusing here, but you should simply go like this. Um. Anyway, it seems it's not focusing it. But anyway, on the Odin file application, you can see, go ahead and right click on it and click on the run, uh, run as administrator. From here, what you'll need to do is go, this is important for a part, go to the CP here, you should see something like this in the, in this part. I'm sorry if it's not focusing here. I'm extremely sorry. Um, oh, here we go, it's focused. It's going to be CP, but before you're there, um, I'm going to show you this. This is the application itself, the Odin. Right click on it and we're going to un run as administrator. But anyway, now here, what I need to do is go to the C CP, uh, the select on the CP, and from here, first of all, anyway, oh, I'm sorry, not that. Wait a second, on this device, what I need to do is press the power button, volume down, and the home button at the same time. This warning screen should be pop up. Press the volume up button to continue. So now what I'll need to do is the put on these the USB cable in into into your device, and you should do something kind of like this: the com com five or something. Anything you should you can you should see in the Odin. Anyway, now what I'll need to do is go to the CP. Let me zoom in. Oh, come on, it lost the focus. As you can see, this is the CP section. Tap on the CP. And first of all, select the modem.bin and click open. And now what you'll need to do is press start. And wait a few seconds. Now, when you, once you press start, press 
So okay guys, it's actually booted up the the operating system itself here. I mean the Android. And let me set up this language. And you should see some kind of like this 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 like setup screen. Connect to your Wi-Fi. And connect. And on here. Mm. Whoops. Let me see that again. Oh. Here we go. Enables things. Agree. It's gonna check the connection of the Wi-Fi. Wait a second. Um. Here we go. Select your name. and click press down and next and skip this skip this part it's optional if you want to like put on um, some security here like make um make a password or password or the pin or, or the pattern on the lock screen you can do that that's pretty optional part wait a second i'm having a little bit of bug on this screen i will be right back once i complete the screen oh okay anyway Click on next. Oh my god, why it's messed up. Yeah. The whole setup process is extremely messed up. I will be right back once the setup process is done. So so as I said, I'm back again here. So the main reason was, as I said before, I didn't had a, a internet connection for today. So what I need to do is just disconnect my Wi-Fi from uh, from the phone, and it's automatically just did everything. Like in a skip spot, easy mode, optional again. And here we go. You have successfully installed the J5 ROM for your Galaxy Grand Prime. As you can see, it's working far. Everything here, you can see the themes. Themes works. The user manual, those kind of stuff. It works. It goes to the air. Anyway, the Wi Fi. As you can see, Wi Fi works too. Bluetooth. Bluetooth works. As you can see. Um. And about device here, as you can see, it somehow actually do the this. It actually changes the model number instead of, instead of your SMG five three zero H. It actually changes it to the uh, the Samsung Galaxy J 5s model number, which is the J five zero zero F. But anyway, as you can see, we have the Android version five point one point one, which is the Android Lollipop. Again, I can show you this. Anyway, so. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and before that I want to I want to show you everything that everything's works working. Whoops, not that. I mean this the, the, you need to note one thing that there is a stock camera here as you can see but that will never work like that will not work because it the camera itself is designed for the, the Samsung Galaxy J5 not for Grand Prime so it will not work instead if you flash the fix file it will go ahead and give you another camera here it is a stock like camera I can show you as you can see it's the camera from the Android stock version you can say Otherwise, everything working here, as I, as I showed you, the Wi-Fi works and everything, even the GPS works. It was getting low, like, there's only 2 megabytes was left here. But anyway, I can show you that everything works. As I see, I show you the camera itself. As you can see, the Smart Manager works. Super SE works. Just cancel it. No thanks. 
and as you can see everything works here now there's one thing i want to point out to you guys and that is the smart manager from here you will see something kind of like this look at that this is must neat thing if you click here it will whatever over here don't even try to press the restart button it will change your sc linux from enforcing from from permissive to in, enforcing making your rom completely unstable again don't try to go ahead and restart that but anyway after this there everything was like works i can show you the kick and the, the galleries it works i can show you the videos there's no videos here and the calendar works calculator works even the voice here here you can see come on is this crashed what ah uh, okay and the voice recorder does okay it works actually it lagged so here hi 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 i can show you here it works so okay, works. Actually, it lagged. So here, yeah, hi, hi, hi. So as you can see, it works. And here, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, comment, share, and subscribe, as it will help, as it will support me on my channel. And if you have any bug on this on this ROM, please let me know in the comment section so I can help you. It and and that's it. Mm, I'll see you in the next video and and peace